Hi everybody, welcome to day 36 of the shutdown. It's pretty miserable here. Um, I hope you're all doing well. I hope everything's going fine for you. I hope you're all staying indoors and uh, observing the lockdown. Um, think of something I've noticed with um, with the lockdown and how it's affected me is that I've got more time to experiment and to look at things. It's like being back at college, really, in a way. You have ideas normally and you think, oh, I'll do that later, I'll do that later because you're busy making stuff for shows and packing for shows and doing other jobs. But now I can just concentrate on what I'm doing and it's fantastic. So uh, today I'm doing a little bit of experimenting. I've talked about um, some moon jars I did the other day. Uh, I'm just going to go through uh, that process with you now and uh, explain it all to you during the video. So I uh, hope you enjoy it. Okay, um, you saw me uh, grinding up uh, some some of this uh, rust here. This is rust from my old kiln. You can see there's bits of it there that are just crumbling away. And uh, I grind it up in a pestle and mortar, uh, sieve it with a uh, tea strainer and I get a really nice fine powder and that goes on the um, on the moon jars, the little white moon jars. But what it leaves me with is a sort of a, a granule, like almost the size, grain the size of um, sugar granules. And uh, that doesn't grind up. So what I've decided to do, I'm doing a little experiment whereby I'm going to actually wedge some of this into some white clay for some white moon jars. Um, I've got one here that's drying. These are some I did the other day. Uh, you can't see it, but there's little tiny flecks of this um, of this iron in here. And hopefully it's going to bleed out. This is the exper experiment I mentioned um, yesterday, I think in yesterday's video. Um, so I'm just going to go through the process of wedging this, these, this uh, rust into this clay and then I'm going to throw a few small moon jars for you uh, as the demo for today. I'm wedging it in fairly small, in fairly small um, lumps because uh, I can control how much I'm putting in there. Let's put a bit on the table on the wedging bench. So I could measure this out and weigh it, but that's not the way I do it. I'd rather just do it by eye and feel. Got some nice, uh, some nice random flex in there now, so I can I can throw that. And you can see it now. They're uh, about 500-600 grams per pound. I'd be interested to uh, to see what effect this has. I hope it uh, I hope it works. It could all sort of end horribly. This seems to be sound. I suppose there's a sort of uh, a proportion thing involved because the 
the flecks on a big moon jar would be tiny compared to the overall size of it but um, on these smaller ones obviously the, the visual impact will be greater because the, the smaller proportion of the uh, of the Timo, of the sorry of the moon jar so we'll see Let's see if it works I find it difficult to uh, just keep making the same stuff over and over again. It just drives me bonkers, to be honest with you. It's just the way my brain works. Nothing wrong with re repeat throwing and production work and production throwing. It's it's fine. If you if you work that way, some people like that way. I can't. I've got to be doing new stuff all the time. Keep my brain active. flare this rim out just slightly. This is a new clay. Jim Jim Faulkner, a friend of mine, uh, uses this clay for his pieces and uh, I did a moon jar for him to work on in a collaboration thing and uh, I didn't like throwing it at first, a bit smooth but I really like it now. To trim the bottom, I forgot to trim the bottom of that one. Never mind. I'll just do you one more. I should get uh, the bigger ones I showed you a little earlier. I should get those bigger ones should be in the firing this weekend, so I'll be able to look at those next week. weather has turned really bad. It has been glorious up until a couple of days ago. The garden's grateful. I'm on a water meter here and it goes through me to water the plants. But you have to keep them alive in the, in the, the, the warm weather. do these without thinking now, these moon jars. Which I suppose it uh, plays into that whole theory by Hamada that uh, if you can throw mindlessly, that is without thinking, the pots are honest and more meaningful. Let me trim this one off. So I'm going to do a few of these because uh, they're nice kiln fillers. Right, that's it for today. Uh, today is long sleeved t-shirt day today. It's a bit cold, a bit chilly. So uh, I'll fish this one out from... Well, it's years old this one. Uh, but uh, still got plenty left. Still going to keep going. New t-shirt every day. Stay safe. See you tomorrow.